Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. This is your host, Gift Bozekana. Right. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, we are almost there on 100,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share and leave a nice comment. Right. So, you asked me, right, that I must just have a, an overview of a chemical uh, engineering right uh, we know that majority of the students that choose chemical engineering it's either they were good in chemistry in high school now they thought that no man if i'm good in chemistry then it means chemical engineering it's for me you know but i want to tell you that there is more into chemical engineering, right? Yes, there is chemistry involved, but there are a lot of things that are involved in chemical engineering, right? Because chemical engineering, it's all about a, a process that involves large scale industrial processes, right? Which you are going to convert the raw materials, right? into something that has economical value or something that has an, a, a, a social value, right? You know, we are talking about coal, right? A coal, petroleum, right? Into fuel, a natural gas, vegetation, right? So I, here I had other people asking me, hey, I want to become a petroleum engineer. But now, when I try to search around the country, it's, it's like a difficult thing to find a university that offers petroleum engineering. No, it's always under chemical, right? That's I know. Majority of people who, who do become petroleum engineers is because who maybe who studied chemical engineering, right? So, now let's get to the universities, right? So you know that most videos I do, uh, VETS, UCT, UP and stuff, because I know that some of you want to go there, but it also offered in other uh, University of Technology. If you want to be a technologist or a technician, you can do a BH Tech or National Diploma in Chemical Engineering. But now I'm going to focus on the BSc Eng, which is Bachelor of Science in Engineering or Bachelor of Engineering, which is BEng, right? So Without wasting time, we're going to talk about chemical engineering at Vets University. Vets University in Johannesburg, to be specific. Uh, main campus, Bramfontein. It does offer a, a, a four-year degree in uh, chemical engineering. So the requirements to study chemical engineering at Vets University, you need a level six. They say five in their website, five, five, five. But I'm just telling you, what you must get a level six in maths, level six in physics, level six in uh, English, right? If you got level seven, that's a bonus. But to stand a chance, at least you must be on the sixth. If you do get with five, your prayer must be so strong. Then we go to University of Pretoria in Hatfield, right? There, there is a maths, physics, engineer, uh, English, right? 666 right then you go to uct i think in uct they want a level seven for maths because i know majority of you you want to do you want to go to uct right but i'm telling you uh bachelor of engineering and bsc engineering is the same thing because all these courses are regulated by the engineering council of south africa right is the one that says you know what for for us, for us as a, a, after a student has graduated, as a, to register with us as the Engineering Council of South Africa, this is the type of a professional we want. You know, by first year the student must know this. By second year, by third year, so it's up to the university to to depart. By the time you finish your four year degree at these universities that i mentioned here which offers a four year other universities they offer three year bn tech two year national diploma i don't know yeah <coughs> i think three years also i'm not sure about that so it's 
are regulated by one board. So whether you're at UP, whether you're at Feds, whether you're at UCT, whether you're at, I think you can send it as offers and UJ, yeah, you can check that. You must also do more research about chemical engineering, whether do you love it because you want to do it or do you love it because you were good in chemistry, right? Because this is an engineering. So engineering, it's all about planning, designing, like thinking, the ability to solve things and, you know, all of that, right? So as I said, at the University of Cape Town, they want a level seven in maths, uh, as level six uh, in physical uh, sciences, right? So check your curriculum. You know that there's basic engineering, maths, engineering, physics, even chemistry in uh in first year, Jalun Jal, as, as years progresses, you get to do a more a curriculum that is based on the profession that you want to study. So when it comes to chemical engineering, also it's like that. Four years after four years, you are a qualified chemical engineer, right? So you can work in various industries of uh, chemical engineering, right? So the opportunities, it come, you can be a biochemical engineer, you can be environmental engineer, you can be a food processing engineer, you can be a process control engineer, you can be a process design engineer, you can be a process plant manager, you can be a systems engineer, you can be a technical sales engineer, I, can, I wrote also you can become a petroleum engineer. So chemical engineer does have some opportunity but you are not also limited to that as an engineer that you can work as an engineer alone due to your with your problem solving skills you can work in other areas right different areas right of the economy some engineers they work as data scientists some engineers they work in banks some so they work in various consulting companies and all of the stuff so you are not limited to be an engineer alone but having that degree opens doors for you to other areas right right so it's like that basically guys i want to say uh, all the best to all the aspiring engineers right you got this and continue working extremely hard even when you have been accepted to study a chemical engineering right do not lose hope and it's all possible we do have chemical engineers who started so rough but they managed to complete it so guys also you can complete it i believe in you and i trust in you thank you so much for watching uh, till next time i say bye bye